Hello everyone, this is Lamid Sane of LS Web Apps and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the children selector in jQuery, okay? So what, let's first define what do I mean by children, okay? So back in our index.html, we have this div here with a class of container and what will identify as its children is anything that is directly underneath it. So in this case, this paragraph tag, this one and this one, not this one. The a tag is not a direct child of container so it's not considered a children so the p tag here has a child of a so this one is one of the children of this p tag so let's just select this container and get its children and see what we have in the browser so in our main.js let's set, um, select this container so we'll call the children method on it this is provided by jquery so we'll say children so back in our browser sorry about that guys we'll refresh this as you can see, when we um, open this here, we are seeing that it is selecting the three paragraphs, okay? So hovering over each of them is showing us the paragraphs. So now we have selected the children of the div tag with the container class. So next, let me just show you that you can select this a tag here um, by giving a class to this paragraph and then saying, give me the children of that. So we'll say class, I will say second. We just give it a class of second, then just get the children. So back in our main.js, instead of container, we just select second. So let's just refresh this browser. And as you can see, we are being given the A tag, which is inside that paragraph, okay? So let me just show you one neat trick that you can use with that children selector as well. So let's assume that we don't only have um, one element as a ch child of this paragraph tag here. Let's say we have something like a span and um, the span also has some elements in it. Um, let's say some span. So you know an element, a text, and the span has a class of span. Okay. So how do we filter and say, do not give me all the children, just give me the children with a specific class. So you can pass in an optional um, selector here to say, just give me the children which have a class of span. Okay. So we go back in our browser refresh and as you can see now we are getting the children of this paragraph here but only the one which has a class of span so if I remove that um, span selector here it will give us both the a tag and the span as well as the children of this p tag so when I open this now we are getting both the a tag and the span tag okay so that's how you use the children selector in jQuery you can pass it an optional um, sub selector so it filters down the children. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Cheers. Bye. Bye